Ayurvedic Medicine, and the Top 5 Herbs of Ayurveda. Ayurvedic Medicine, also called Ayurveda, is one of the oldest healthcare systems in the world and is still today the primary healing tradition of India. Offering a preventative, holistic, whole-body approach to attaining and sustaining long-term health and wellness, within it there are many botanical allies used in conjunction with different Ayurvedic lifestyle practices. Here in the West, Ayurvedic medicine is recognized as an alternative and or complementary adjunct to mainstream allopathic methods. These are the top five Ayurvedic herbs most familiar in Western culture, what they are good for, and how they generally affect the different body types or doshas. Number one, ashwagandha root. Ashwagandha, one of the top tonic adaptogens utilized in Ayurveda, is a rejuvenative energizer for the entire body, sometimes referred to as Indian ginseng. It is popular as a male reproductive aphrodisiac, with a famed reputation for bestowing the strength and stamina of a horse on its user. It is, however, generally revitalizing for both men and women alike. The root of ashwagandha, or withanya somnifera, is highly prized for its nourishing influence on the nervous system, supporting a healthy response to physical and emotional life stress. The Latin word somnifera actually means sleep inducer, which refers to its ability to promote deep, restful sleep. It's regarded as a potent herb used by bodybuilders to encourage muscle mass and support comfortable movement of the joints. Seniors often benefit from ashwagandha and its nurturing impact as one ages. How to use ashwagandha The traditional way to use ashwagandha is as a ground powder mixed into drinks or hot water. It is also available as a capsule, tablet, or in tincture form. Ashwagandha is good for vata and kapha imbalance, as it is mildly warming to the body. It can aggravate pitta when used in excess. Number 2. Bacopa or Brahmi Bacopa, Bacopa manieri, is a rather humble-looking plant, but don't let appearances fool you. It has been one of the top most valued herbs utilized in Ayurvedic medicine for centuries. Initially documented in ancient texts like the Charaka Samhita as a Rasayana herb for sharpening the intellect and mental functions, it has a long history in Ayurveda for such purposes. Often called a brain tonic or an herbal nootropic, it is legendary for neuroprotective potential, supportive to memory, learning and concentration skills. A cup of bacopa tea taken with honey before meditation is also known to help calm mental chatter. How to use bacopa It is available as a powder, dried herb, and powdered or liquid extract. The herbal tea has a pleasant, fruity, black tea-like flavor. Bacopa monieri is often traditionally infused into a base of sesame oil and used in massage therapy to calm and soothe the nerves. Bacopa is balancing to all three body types, vata, pitta, and kapha, but may aggravate vata in excess. Number 3. Makuna or Kapakachu Though often called an herb, Makuna, Makuna purians is actually a type of legume. It is especially known as one of the highest natural sources of a unique amino acid called L-dopa levodopa an essential precursor to the mood-elevating neurotransmitter dopamine. L-DOPA is known to increase dopamine concentrations, which can be subsequently helpful for various disorders of the nervous system. Makuna is therefore useful for balancing vata-type conditions and is claimed to be especially beneficial for those recovering from addictive drugs, stimulants, and or tobacco use. Makuna is an aphrodisiac and nutritive tonic for the reproductive system. It helps to encourage healthy libido in both men and women, as it is deeply nourishing to all tissues and bodily fluids. How to use Makuna Makuna is often used as a powder or powdered extract, but is also available as tablets, capsules, or as a liquid solution. Makuna is particularly beneficial to vata body types, but is also balancing for pitta, it may increase kapha. Number 4. Tulsi or Holy Basil Tulsi, also known as Holy Basil, 
is a sacred Rasayana that has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. As it is a leafy plant similar to that of culinary basil, holy basil is a revered Hindu herb traditionally grown outside of one's home to purify and protect the household. The leaves, stems, and blossoms with their aromatic essential oils are viewed as both spiritually and physically cleansing to the body. It is valued for its health-enhancing properties specific to the respiratory tract and supports the removal of excess kapha or phlegm from the lungs. Tulsi is considered an herbal stimulant because of its energizing effect on the body, although it contains no caffeine. Teas are especially nourishing to the adrenals. Long-term coffee drinkers or anyone recovering from adrenal fatigue could find teas, powders, or capsules very therapeutic for such purposes. Tulsi can be a great herbal ally for today's busy, modern-day lifestyle, helping one to cope with the stress that comes with overwork, overwhelm, or a general feeling of ungroundedness. How to use Tulsi The fresh or dried leaves are traditionally infused into hot water and make a delicious tasting tea, hot or cold. Tulsi is balancing for vata and kapha, but may increase pitta. Number 5. Amla or Amalaki Although considered an Ayurvedic herb, Amla is actually an antioxidant-rich tree fruit, containing one of the highest sources of natural plant-based vitamin C available. It is cleansing to the body and helps improve liver function and immune response. Also called Indian gooseberry or Amalaki, Emblica officinalis, it is particularly useful as a digestive and bowel tonic for improving gastrointestinal functions. Its cooling nature is in fact specifically recommended for pitta as it helps to remove excess heat. How to use Amla Amla is often used in powder form mixed into water, but is also available as tablets or as a liquid extract. It is one of the three dried fruits used in triphala formulations. Amalaki or Amla is balancing to all doshas, but especially Pitta. Precautions. It is recommended that you consult your physician or healthcare provider when using any Ayurvedic herbs on a regular basis, especially if you are pregnant, nursing, have an extreme medical condition, or are taking prescription medications. Thanks for watching! For more on Ayurveda and Ayurvedic herbs, as well as top quality sources, be sure and check out the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And why not partake in another informative video?